Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we will understand our question. The program must accept n integers as input. Then, the program must print the count of pair. Uh, the count of pair, which after concatenations contains all the digits from 0 to 9 in any order at least once so we have to accept n integers then the program must print the count pair which after concatenations contains all the digits from 0 to 9 in any order at least once so consider our first test case here we have six integers so these are the integers now will form the possible pass that is we'll take the first integer and after that we'll have the remaining integers with them as pairs then this integer then after that we'll have this one then the last one So we have found the pass for the first integer. Now we'll take the second integer. So uh, we'll have the remaining integers with it to make the pass. And then we have then this integer then at last we'll have this one then we'll take our third integer and we'll form pairs using the remaining three integers so we'll have this and this and at last we'll have this integer Then we have the fourth integer. So it will form two pairs. Then at last we'll have this integer forming only one pair. So now we have to check for 0 to 9 in every integer in any order. So here you can see we have 0, 1 and we don't have 2. So here it is no. Next consider our next pair. Here we have we don't have 0. So we'll can will not consider it. Then here we have 0, 1 and 2 is not there. So we'll not consider it. Then here we have 0, 1 two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll consider this integer pair. Then we'll move on to next integer. Here zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, we have all the digits. 
then we'll check for this integer here we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 is missing so we'll not consider it then for this integer we have 0 1 and 2 is missing so we'll not consider then here we have 0 1 2 and 3 is missing so we'll have no then here we have wait um, so yeah here we have 0 1 2 3 is missing so we'll have no here we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we'll have yes then here it is no here also no because uh, 4 is missing here then here also 4 is missing then here we have no here also no and here also we doesn't contain all the digits from 0 to 9 now after checking all the pairs we can see that three pairs satisfy our conditions that is it contains all the digits from 0 to 9 so our output will be 3. Now take our second test case. So here we'll form the pass. Then we'll take our second integer. So the pass would be this and this then we'll have this pair. So now we'll check for 0 to 9. So here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here we have all the digits so we we'll print here we have yes then here we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so here also we have all the digits so we'll consider it then here we have one is missing so we'll not consider it then here we have 0 1 2 3 4, 5 and all the digits so we'll consider it then here here we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 and all the digits so we'll consider it then here we don't have 0 so we'll not consider so as you can see the count of pass satisfying our condition is 4 so which will be our output Now let us implement our program. First we'll get the number of integers. Then we'll get the array of numbers as string. So I have used input dot split off. Then we'll initialize the variable called a pair count equal to zero. Then after that we'll run two loops to form our pairs for index in index 1 in range 0 comma n minus 1 then for index 2 in range index 1 plus 1 then n so after finding the possible pairs now the pair is equal to the array of index 1 plus array of index 2 now we'll use a set operation so that digits will not be duplicated and finally if the integer contains digits from 0 to 9 its length will be 10. So if the length of set of uh, pair is equal to equal to 10 then it contains all the digits so the pair count will be incremented by 1 and at last we'll print the 
pair count. So now let us execute our program. So we have got 3 as our output which is correct as discussed in our logic video. Then we will pass our second test case. So here we have got 4 as our output which is also correct as you can see we will form 4 pass containing 0 to 9 digits in it. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.